receptors, and then that will go to your brain. You taste it. Okay? Questions? So, these fungiform papillae, they have taste buds, and that's their function, the taste. You can see the taste buds right here. While the filiform papillae are here. This is the filiform papillae. Notice we have no taste buds. Okay? Right, any questions? Are the filiform ones like on the edge of the tunnel more, or is that just like the top layer? Well, they're kind of like on the edge of the tunnel. Well, on the cat, well, actually, they're, they're pretty much towards the anterior part of the tongue. Okay. Now let's go to uh, um, oh, salivary gland. Okay. Taste it. This is parotid salivary gland. Parotid. And those the cells are tightly packed. They're purple and tightly packed. Those, this is parotid. Then we're going to see the. This is submandibular. It's also purple, but notice that we don't see the individual cells per se. They look more like tubes. You can see the white lumen is in the middle of the tube. So, like, for instance, this one right here. Trouble like shape number two. There's your boom in the middle right there. Submandibular. And this one is sublingual. Notice it has a lot of white mucus glands. These are all the little white mucus glands. Sublingual. the jejunum, and the 
jejunum within the villi, we're going to see the mucus glands. These are all the mucus glands. They look like little balls. Are the mucus glands before the jejunum? And then we're going to go to the ilium. So, and the ilium is characterized by Peyer's patches. These are Peyer's patches. So grainy, the tissue looks. Lymphatic tissue looks very, very grainy. This is Peyer's patches in the ilium. So remember, Brunner's glands in the duodenum, only Peyer's patches in the ilium. More or less. They kind of grade into one another, but that's usually where you find most of them. Any questions on the small intestine? Now we're going to go to the lymph node because it is lymphatic tissue. So the lymph node is going to have the same granular appearance to it. See, just like the Peyer's patch, it's kind of granular looking. This is the lymph node and it's pretty large, so we're going to take a tour of the lymph node because you can't see the whole thing at one time. Subdividing the lymph node. This layer is called the cortex. Here's another trabeculae right there. This is the cortex layer. Cortex layer. And this round thing is a follicle. And the center of it is called a germinal center. Here's another follicle right here in the germinal center. Another follicle. Okay, capsule. Trabeculae. And then we're going to come over here to the hilus. Right here. This is the hilus. To the left of the hilus is going to be the center of the lymph node, and, they, and that's called the medullary cord. No demarcating area or structure. It's just simply to the left of the hilus is this medullary cord right in here. Any questions on the lymph node? Let's go to the trachea and esophagus. Okay, so do you remember the, the esophagus I said was, uh, was not being used, the walls kind of touch one another, and so you can see here where the esophagus is kind of collapsed. So this is the lumen where the bolus is going to be passing through, and we see that the, it's collapsed that there's nothing flowing through the esophagus, so it's just kind of sitting there. Unlike the trachea right here, remember the air does not have the weight to push the tissue apart. So it needs cartilage to support the trachea. Now look how wide open it is, the trachea. It's not collapsed at all. All this is a lumen where the air is going to be coming in. So look at here at the esophagus, we see that it is collapsed. Okay. What tissue makes up the esophagus? What is it? Stratified squamous. Stratified squamous. Very good. That's what you see here. Why? Wear and tear. Yeah, got lots of wear and tear in the esophagus and the mouth. Okay, any questions on the esophagus? Okay, let's go to the trachea, which is right next door. Remember the trachea, we say has C-shaped cartilaginous rings, and there they are right here. There's your cartilaginous ring, or trachea ring as we're going around. the end of the seat. 